Hey Scorpio. Um, so I wanted to do a just kind of a, a little bonus reading for you guys because I felt like yours was very specific for somebody. And I don't know. I'm just I'm doing a second one for you guys this week because I feel like I need to. All right, so this is for the month of May. Scorpio, take two. <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, so we have surrender. So somebody's feeling the need to surrender, perhaps. And the lesson is I can release my need to control. Okay, so that's actually a really good card. That's a good feeling to surrender, kind of surrender it to the universe or surrender it to God. It literally will just, it alleviates so much burden. And then down here we have failure. So somebody is feeling a sense of failure about something. And the lesson is I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Why do human beings have such a hard time with that, right? Failures are future successes in many cases, right? When you look back on anything that you feel like was a failure, it probably pushed you towards something that you felt was more successful. Almost, almost always, you know, so... Failure could honestly be seen as a doorway to success. You know, you may not, you may not learn something. You almost have to fail at certain things in order to learn. It's, it's truly, you know, it's a cliche, but it truly is a part of life. So I hope nobody is too stuck in that energy. All right, so I'm using the Angel Tarot deck. Again, whoops, okie doke. All right, let's see. <laughs> Nine of Wands, that's interesting next to surrender. Okay, so I feel like somebody, you know, because Nine of Wands can be like a, a last ditch effort. Um, and I, you know, I feel like somebody has made a, a last ditch effort somehow. And now they're, they made the effort and now they're releasing it to the universe. They're releasing it. They're surrendering and just letting going with the flow. That's good. Okay. We have page of cups. All right. Okay. So page of cups. Okay, I feel like this person down here, I feel like is, they're kind of, I feel like there's a, like a crush, like um, somebody is feeling like their crush is not reciprocated. This person feels like a crush that they have is not reciprocated. All right. And this person is giving a, has given a last ditch effort to something and now they're surrendering. Knight of Wands. Okay, so you're, I feel like this is you, and I feel like 
So you've put it out into the universe and you're taking action towards something that that interested you in in the past. Okay, so what I'm getting here is I feel like okay. I feel like this is kind of cleaning up a past relationship. Like you made a last ditch effort towards towards somebody in your life. It it, it might have been a long-term relationship, it might have been a marriage. You you feel like you've done everything that you can in this relationship. You've gone out of your way. You've been, you know, you've been faithful, you've been loyal in your mind. I think there there's been a recent connection perhaps. that almost caused you to take action in your current situation to see, you know, can I save this? Can I make this work? You know, and I feel like you might have told, I feel like you might have told this person, and again, this could be vice versa, but you might have told this person that you were making this last ditch effort towards whoever you are currently with. And this person was crushed over that. <laughs> they might have felt like, you know, that you were moving forward. I feel like this person is very sensitive, feels like, you know, that somehow they failed or they failed you. but they love you. Wow. They want this new beginning desperately. <laughs> you know, I feel like this feels like crying their eyes out. Truly. I this feels just so so sensitive. But this person is definitely in love with you. And, and I feel like you are trying to, like I said, you were trying to make a last ditch effort in your current relationship to see, you know, is this something that I want? Is this something that I can give up? Is this something that I can move on from? Because I feel like there, there are mutual feelings here, but it's almost difficult for this person, I think, who is you, to admit these feelings while somebody else is in the picture. This person loves you. This might have started off as a friendship, but this person is seeing this as a failure right now. They see loving you as a as failing you somehow. Eight of Swords. All right. Be careful how long you stay in this energy if this is you. You know, if if this if surrendering brings you clarity, share the clarity with people. <laughs> Let them know where you're at. Try not to stay stuck in this Eight of Swords energy because this is you keeping yourself stuck in your head. It really is. And, you know, notice we have no cups up here. I feel like this person up here, maybe you, probably you, is avoiding how the how deeply you feel about somebody else. You know, and this lesson here, I can release my need to control. I, I don't know that that's been fully implemented yet, okay? Um, <clears throat> 
because I feel like we need to see some <clears throat> some cups up there because I feel like emotions are being avoided. It might be it might be just a lot easier to stay in the relationship that you're in. And this might be seen as a, a true complication for you in your life. And it might be. You know, we're, we're tested all the time. And it might be a test for you to stay in this relationship. But it also might be something that is pushing you out of a, a situation that is no longer helping you grow, too. Down here we have the Emperor, Aries energy. All right, so this could be, you know, this feels very, um, this actually feels like a masculine energy down here. It felt that way before the emperor showed itself. But what's interesting with this surrender card, I can release my need to control. And then we have the emperor over here, which is can be a controlling energy. I'm going to clarify the emperor. Judgment. All right, so So this is the rebirth or reconciliation. So what I feel like is going to happen is by, by you surrendering, it allows this person to, to come back. But I don't know that you want them back just yet. I feel like there needs to be I, this just feels detached of emotion right now. I don't feel like you're connecting to, to this person just yet by choice because you're keeping yourself in this energy. Let's find out why. Queen of Cups. Okay, so... You, this is about, this can be about following your heart, okay? So you're keeping yourself stuck, and I, I'm very happy that we, we see some cups here because this tells me that you are keeping yourself stuck because you're not ready to follow your heart yet. I believe I said that a few minutes ago. Um, but I feel like this person and I feel like this is a masculine energy, I feel like this person is really gonna kind of pull out all the stops. This person loves you. This person wants you. And I feel like you reciprocate it, but you are burying it right now for some reason. And it could be that you're you know, you're trying to give this last ditch effort to this current relationship. Like you feel, you might feel called to really do that right now. And if that's the case, you know, and I feel like you have communicated that to this person. So, 
just keeping this person in, in, in the loop, I think is going to be important for this person's emotional well-being and for yours too. If there's still a chance for this person, you know, let them know. It's okay not to know just, just yet, you know? Are you kidding me? I swear, this card has come out in almost every, every reading. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Okay, so with judgment here, coming back from um, the past, reconciling, um, you know, this could be a, a person that you've known in your younger years, or this person could be somebody that, you know, you had a past life experience with. Down here, I think this is a really important message for this person. You know, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, I feel like this person is, you know, almost going to... I feel like they're going to go above and beyond. Almost to the point where they are... <laughs> where you might question their self-respect. You know, and if you communicate to them properly... They won't do that, but I, I feel a high intensity of emotion down here. I'm surprised that the self-respect card didn't come out because I feel this person feeling like a failure, feeling just like they lost the love of their life. That's the energy down here. And this might be you. Again, it could be reversed. Aw, Scorpio. I knew I needed to do another Scorpio reading. Oh my goodness. There's definite potential here, but I feel it, it feels a little complicated right now, you know? Oh, anyway, so that's the take two on, on Scorpio. Um, definitely feel like somebody needed to to hear this but I think it's more about this person honestly I feel this person is going to get it together you know they might be um, you know keeping themselves in a trapped energy because they're not really willing to feel these emotions yet because it it confuses them and complicates things as they're trying to you know, either move past somebody or, you know, possibly trying to work something out. Um, but it's keeping this person in a very, very painful state, a, a painful energy, hurtful energy. They're going to wait. They're going to wait. They are so in love with this person, with you. Oh my goodness. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you for your second reading of the month of May. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. All right. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.